Hey guys, welcome back to the Crafty Nook. I think this might be one of the last things that I have posted. And I'm really feeling like I want to do something creative, but I don't have a lot of energy today. And so I want to kind of use this as a jumping off point. So just some beautiful magazine images, some color, um, but I want to do it in this mixed media um, little spiral notebook that I got to try to dip my toes into some art journaling. Uh, but I wanted to get that out as a little bit of a starting point. Um, and I dug, I went through my stash and I have these. So this little bird and this little piece kind of really inspired me because I think they go very good together. The colors do. Uh, this is from Johanna, a uh, printable of hers. This is just from a magazine. And then these colors kind of also bring me some joy. And so I wasn't sure if I could do something like this and then maybe somehow incorporate this phrase, just as you are. Well, gosh, that's nearly done right there. And then I have this color to kind of knock some of that back. I was thinking I could try. So we'll see. I also want to pull out some stamps. So let me do that. When I start just yanking stuff out, I always end up with way too much. I also have these I was thinking I could use potentially. I don't know yet, we'll see. Uh, but I pulled out my junk journal stamps and my florals. Let's see what tickles my fancy. I do kind of like this one, but I'm not certain yet. I kind of like that oval. Could be done with that. Let's see. I might be just getting way too down in the weeds. Too, a little too deep. I think that if I'm going to use a stamp, I don't need that. So let me think on that and then kind of go through these florals a little bit. I haven't crafted in so long. That is just gorgeous by itself. Oh, I also have some wooden stamps that I've never dug around in. I'm really trying to challenge myself to use my things. I like that, I'm gonna keep that out. Okay, let me look at one. Spot. This is the problem with having such a large stash is that ooh, I have too much stuff. be honest I got overwhelmed in that box and I just closed it let's just stick with what I think I want like I think I know what I want here these are my three favorite colors um, let me get a brush which I really probably need because I really probably need a container of water and I don't have one and I'm not getting up because I'll be done if I do. 
So let's, let's just play. It's just a, a page. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, I'd prefer that it wasn't. And we're just gonna see where this leads. I might just do those two for now. Okay, here we go. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Let me dry this. Okay, so the pink is not really pinking for me. So I wonder if I have something. Let me just try to knock it back a little with some texture or some crackle paste. Because I love this stuff. We have a mixed media altered book contest every year at work. In the last two years, I've won first place. Last year, I used this crackle on it, and I love it so much. I like to do it kind of thick. As it dries, it's going to crackle. So let me dry it. Okay, that's a little bit better. You can kind of see the crackle. Look at that. Yeah, that's dry. And that's a little bit better for me. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe now I can do... Let me see. Sorry for the crinkling. I'm gonna try it and see if this is gonna be what I want it to be. Oops. I need something to use as a palette. It's probably way more than I need. So I'm just kind of tinting this crackle paste a little and the edges with this paint, which I've never done before. All of this, well not all of it, but a lot of this is a big experiment. Okay, I like that a little bit better. This is just the background. Let's see if we can kind of figure out this composition a little. I'm 
because I want that to be the focal point. This might not be big enough. I kind of want this. Under or over? I think I like that down a little bit. What do we think? And then I can cut these out. So let's start with that. Let's glue this down. Before we do anything else, I want to kind of blend in these edges a little. still think it's fine. I don't know why I was whispering. I'm not sure. I think that's too white. Let's see. Yeah, that works a little better.
What do we think? I think it needs something. I just don't know what. probably have ruined these markers. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, this doesn't look quite as bad as I originally thought. Although, I do think it needs some kind of doodly border. Do I want to do white or black? Let's do white. I hope this works. might not have a choice but to do black. It can be something.
we're just gonna call it. Okay. Glue these down. If I can get this glue to work. This was fun. It didn't turn out quite as exactly as I had envisioned it, but it is fun just as new. And I think once I've done this a few times, it might not be so awkward, but it's basically just mixed media and collage mixed together, which I like both, so. I don't think the white is really showing up like I want it to. Let me try some black. I do think that if that white had have been dry, it would have looked a lot better. The black would. But it's kind of getting lost in some of that white. I do like that better. I think I want to do the glue for this. Probably a little bit messed up, but no, it's not. Oh my god, I love that so much. Do I need to go around something else? I'll go around this again. Okay, I'm just experimenting now. I'm just throwing stuff together. Um, does this not work? Let's see. I think it's time to throw this one out. Okay, so that's my page, my little mixed media collage page. It, I mean, it's not like the best thing I've ever made, but it's also not the worst thing I've ever made. Um, so thanks for hanging out. I had a good time playing around. I'll see you next time. Bye.